We are joined today by Councillor Derek Antrobus. There's currently a major climate action project in parts of Salford and an important part of this is um, transport. Can you briefly outline your transport policies for Salford? Yeah, we've uh, got a sustainable transport strategy and I suppose that the two key elements of that are about, first of all, reducing people's need to travel uh, and secondly, when they do travel, to uh, travel on the most sustainable forms of transport, to use walking, uh, cycling and public transport wherever that's possible. It's not about uh, abolishing the car or, or anything like that. In fact, uh, one of the uh, projects that we're going to be involved in in the future is to uh, support the government initiatives to uh, encourage the production and use of uh, electric vehicles. Uh, but it is about making sure that people are enabled to make uh, the choices that they want to make. So what do you see are the main problems at the moment for transport in Salford? Um, I, I suppose the, uh, the, the principal problem as far as the City Council is concerned um, is about the uh, lack of uh, uh, public transport. We've got some very good links um, which go into the regional centre, into the centre of uh, Salford and Manchester. Everything goes down Chapel Street uh, and into Manchester uh, City Centre. And there's some really good uh, services there uh, from uh, outlying districts. Where we have uh, a real problem is people who, who want to move across the city. So uh, people in uh, uh, Lower Kersal, Lower Broughton, trying to get down to uh, Salford Quays is, is an absolute nightmare. Um, you know, when I go down to Salford Quays, um, after going to Manchester and then get the tram out to, to Salford Quays, and, and that's indefensible really. So we've been uh, pressing the Greater Manchester Passenger Transport Authority uh, for some time to uh, fund more uh, cross-city links. Uh, that's our objective in our plans, but of course the council doesn't, uh, is not a provider of bus services. Uh, it's other authorities who are responsible for that. There is some good news. Uh, it's been recognised as a priority by the uh, Passenger Transport Authority uh, and we're looking at uh, having a shuttle bus certainly running between uh, uh, Chapel Street at the Crescent uh, and, uh, and Salford Quays. So that's uh, a step in the right direction, but I want to see more of those cross-city uh, cross links. The type of public transport then, just to go over what you've said, you've mentioned the Metrolink and the buses. Um, did you also say about, um, in, your, in your document for sustainable transport in Salford, cycling and walking paths? Absolutely, yeah. Um, uh, we want to uh, really develop uh, the opportunities for cycling and, uh, and, and walking. Uh, you know, the, um, we're already investing a lot of money uh, in the main strategic uh, cycling networks across the city um, and we're contributing that and we're doing a lot of good, good work there. Uh, but a lot of these strategic cycling networks are used um, uh, by uh, keen cyclists, tourists. What we need to do is improve the routes for uh, the ordinary day-to-day -day journeys. Uh, so, for example, one of the things that we're doing, we're working very closely with uh, the uh, the local community in Ortsall to identify some uh, uh, some routes there. Uh, and part of the thinking behind that is it links into the um, uh, Irwell uh, River Park proposal because one of the most effective ways to get to the centre from uh, Ortsall uh, is actually uh, along the river, so we'll be looking at that sort of proposal, and it's the same if you go the other way along the river, um, you know, uh, out towards uh, uh, Kersal and, and, and Lower Broughton, uh, then we, we want to um, make use of the riverside as an important uh, cycleway because it really does link up, link people up uh, to, to the centre, and these will be important uh, walkways as well. Uh, and at the same time we've got a, a collaborative project with Manchester City Council uh, to develop um, a series of uh, uh, bike hire stations and hopefully this will develop over time. Uh, so we've got a system where people can pick up a bike in different parts of the city, uh, ride to where they want to and deposit it somewhere else. So that's something that we're um, moving forward on with, uh, with Manchester.
Manchester City Council. And that's a really positive and it also relates to health as well. Do you think people would be motivated to use a service like that? Yeah, I think that uh, a lot of people really want to uh, cycle. It's uh, certainly in the right weather. Um, you know, it's, it, people see it as something that's uh, a, a pleasure. It's better than sitting in queues in, in, in a car. Uh, and, and people see it as healthier. So people want to do it. And there's a lot of pent up demand for that. Uh, but what we've got to do is to make sure that the opportunities are there uh, for cyclists, that we've got uh, safe and efficient cycleways. And that's something that uh, we're working with, uh, with with community groups, but we, we also have in Salford uh, the, uh, the Salford Cycling Forum, and we've produced jointly with them uh, Encouraging Cycling in Salford, uh, our uh, cycling strategy, uh, and, uh, and we're taking that forward. Will there be any changes or extensions to the Metrolink or the trains or even park and ride services? Um, well, these certainly the uh, the future of the Metrolink is one for the uh, uh, the transport authority rather than the city council. Um, there is the uh, extra spur being built into Media City, uh, which will make that more uh, accessible. I would like there to be uh, further links, and we've uh, talked about a number. One has been uh, a link towards uh, Wigan uh, using the existing railway line, uh, but obviously opening up more stops. But that's really long term. We're talking about 20, 25 years away uh, for, for, for things like that. Uh, the uh, Trafford Centre have talked about taking a link uh, there and uh, maybe it coming back into Earlham and, and then and then towards Eccles, uh, but these are uh, really long-term aspirational uh, uh, projects. Uh, the reality is that that sort of investment just takes too long to be able to address the immediate issues. I think that as far as public transport is concerned, uh, we've got to concentrate on getting a better bus service, and that means uh, linking, instead of all the buses going into the centre of Manchester, it means linking to other parts of Salford, but also uh, linking to other parts of Greater Manchester. Uh, so one of the things that we've been talking uh, to uh, the Transport Authority about is uh, buses which uh, uh, come from the south of Manchester and come right through the city centre and uh, into Salford. So we've got those cross uh, city centre links. Um, we've already mentioned um, health benefits to, uh, for example, using a, a bike, and um, there's environmental benefits. Are there any other benefits of better public transport? Well, there are enormous benefits. Uh, first of all, um, it reduces congestion, um, and that means that everybody can move around more quickly. The more people use public transport, uh, then you, you get that um, uh, benefit from it. Um, you also get accessibility. A lot of people can't get into uh, jobs simply because they don't have access to a car and there's no good public transport uh, facilities. You know, I used to get very angry, well I still get very angry, uh, when I hear of people uh, who might uh, live um, on the edge of the city um, and they can't get um, a bus to the employment opportunities that are being generated down at Salford Quays. And it's something that I keep banging on about, it's something that the council keeps uh, arguing for. And uh, you know, we, we really need to make sure that the bus companies and the Passenger Transport Authority uh, starts to deliver on, on, on these issues and we'll keep on fighting uh, for, for that. So it, it helps with congestion, helps with uh, access to jobs as well as uh, reducing uh, the pollution, uh, helping us to address uh, climate change and, and delivering the, uh, the health benefits. If people want to know more about um, public transport and changes and proposals, is there any place they can look for information? Yeah, they can go to the Council's website. Um, we've got a document on there which is the uh, Sustainable Transport Strategy, uh, which sets out what we plan to do each and every year uh, in terms of things like delivering new cycle stands, uh, improving railway stations, uh, all those individual um, uh, uh, proposals. 
uh, but there's also um, the Central Salford Integrated Transport Strategy, also available on the, uh, the, the, the Council's website, which sets out the overall vision uh, for, for the city. And, you know, it'd be great if people could get involved in uh, the cycling forum and uh, some of the other things that we do at a more local level, like the health walks, which uh, encourage people to start exploring their local environment with, uh, with healthy walking. Um, and, and just getting involved, yeah. Okay, thank you very much.